Hi everyone, how you going? Welcome, welcome, yeah, hi to you lurkers too, I want to say hello, welcome. Okay, why is the Pope's mitre shaped like a fish? Did you ever wonder why the Pope's mitre looks like the head of a fish? What are the origins of the ceremonial hat and what does it truly rep represent? The religious mitre hat from Babylon, the priest of ancient Dagon fish worship. Dagon, the fish god of the Philistines and the Babylons, wore a fish hat that is still seen today with the Roman Catholic Church, Pope and Bishop. According to Reuben Joseph's book entitled Why Are the Young People Leaving the Church? The motto is derived directly from the mitres of the ancient pagan fish god Dagon and the goddess Sibyl. The papal mitre represents the head of Dagon with an open mouth, which is for the reason for the pointed shape and split top. The story the church wants you to believe is provided by a PDF entitled The Bishop's Vestments, while an online version of the explanation can be found here. The shape of the mitre represents the tongues of the fire that rested on the heads of the disciples gathered in the upper room of the day of Pentecost, when God sent the Holy Spirit to the church. Remember, the church is the people. What's the church explanation? What the church explanation fails to describe is the actual fish eye on the side of the mitre. Perhaps this is an amber of charcoal from the tongues of fire. Probably not. It's a fish eye. The Book of Nineveh and Babylon by Austin Henry Layard stated, In their veneration and worship of Dagon, the high priest of paganism, would actually put on a garment that had been created from a huge fish. The head of the fish formed a mitre above the old man, while its scaly, fan-like tail fell as a cloak behind, leaving the human limbs and feet exposed. In the wine of Roman Babylon, it stated, The most prominent form of worship in Babylon was de dedicated to Dagon, later known as Ithicus, or the fish. In Shadleyan times, the head of the church represent, was a representative of Dagon. He was considered to be infallible and was addressed as holiness. Nations subdued by Babylon, Babylon had to kiss the ring and slipper of the Babylon god king. The same powers and the same titles are claimed to this day by the Dalai Lama of Buddhism and the Pope. Moreover, the vestments of paganism, the fish mitre and the robes of the priest of Dagon are worn by the Catholic bishops, cardinals and popes. Uh, Aniki, who is god of the Sumerian Aniki and Babylon Ah mythology, in Babylonian mythology, Ah uh, was a water god who was half man, half fish hybrid. In Greek mythology, Ah uh, was a. Oh, names. Sorry for saying these wrongs. By any name, the fish god can be traced back to the genetic manipulation of man by the Enlaki, as evidenced by Zachariah Stitchin's work. It is believed that in the daytime the deity would emerge from the water and was responsible for the teaching of art, science and writing to the human race. Berossus, the 3rd century Babylonian priest, once wrote, At first they led somewhat wretched existence and lived without rule after a manner of beasts. But in the first year after the flood appeared an animal endowed with human reason named Ones, who rose out from the Ethrian Sea at the point where it borders Babylonia. He had the whole body of a fish, but above his fish head he had another head, which was that of a man, and human feet emerged from beneath his fish tail. He had a human voice and had an image of him preserved until this day. He passed the day in the midst of man without taking food. He taught them to use letters, science, and all kinds of art. He taught them to construct cities. He found temples to complete pile laws and to explain to them the principles of geometrical knowledge. He made them distinguish the seeds of the earth and showed them how to collect the fruits. In short, he instructed them in everything which he could tend to soften human manners and humanize their laws. From that time, nothing material has been added by way of improvement to his instructions. And when the sun set, this being Onas retired again into the sea. He was amphibious. In the book of Revelation, H.A. Ironside stated, The chief priest wore my shaped like the head of a fish in honour of Dagon, the fish god, the lord of life, another form of Tammuz mystery, as developed among Israel's old enemies, the Philistine. When the chief priest was established in Rome, he took the Pontiff Maximus, which was imprinted in his mitre. 
When Julius Caesar, who like all young Roman of a good family was initiate, had become the head of state, he was elected Pontiff Maximus, and the title was held henceforth by all Roman emperors down to Constantine the Great, who was at one and the same time head of the church and high priest of the heathen. The title was awarded conferred upon the bishops of Rome and today borne by the Pope, who is thus to be declared to be not the successor of the fisherman apostle Peter, but the direct successor of the high priest of Babylonian mysteries and the servant of the fish god Dagon, from whom he wears, like his adulterous predecessor, the fisherman's ring. Did you ever wonder why people kiss the Pope's ring? Why do so many people of prominence kiss the Pope's ring? The ring of fishermen, also known as the Pisque ring, is an official part of the regalia worn by the Pope, who is head of the Catholic Church and successor of St. Peter, who was a fisherman by trade. It used a feature of a base relief Peter of Peter fishing from a boat, a symbolism derived from the tradition that apostles were fishermen of man mark at one seventeen. The fisherman ring is a signal signet used until eighteen forty two to seal official documents signed by the Pope. According to Wilkie, in breaking with this tradition, at the official introduction to his office a classical ring remained in its case. It was passed to Pope Benedict by Dean of the College of Cardinals, Angelo Cardinal Sodano. The ring was designed by jeweller Claudio Franchi, who watched as Benedict placed the ring on himself. Although Pope Benedict wore his fisherman's ring daily, it is no longer the custom for popes to wear it at all. Generally, the new pope will either inherit the daily wear ring of his predecessor, keep an old ring in his, of his preference, or will choose a new daily style wear. Well, it's no longer custom for the pope to ring this, wear this ring. Because of astrotheology, we are existing out of the age of Pisces, the two fish, into the age of Aquarius. The ring no longer symbolises the age of Pisces. Instead of seeing two fish on people's bumper stickers, we'll start seeing some sort of sign from the water bearer Aquarius. Who is Dargon? In the Bible, Dargon dates back to the 3rd millennium BC, long before the birth of Jesus Christ, and was first mentioned in Judges 16.23, when the Philistines offered Dargon a great sacrifice after their idol allegedly delivered Samsung to him. Then the lords of Philistine gathered them together to offer a great sacrifice unto Dargon their god, and to rejoice. For they said, O oh, God hath delivered Samsung, our enemy, unto our hand. Judges 16.23 this is just one of the many ritualistic sacrifices that we see in the Bible, and it's no different to any more modern-day sacrifice, such as 9-11 or any given war. Many consider the Canaanites to be part of the Philistines who worshipped, worshipped Baal, Astar, and Dagon. These were some of the early sun-worshipping cultures that have led to many metaphors we see in modern religion, e.g. God's son, son, in male. There used to be a tribe called the Dogoons, whose legends from the heritage was used by the Egyptians and subsequent dynasties. The Dogoon knew of constellations and alignments that we don't discover until many years later, such as Cyrus B. According to Dogoon legend, the Nemos arrived from the Cyrus star system in a vessel along with fire and thunder, or as we would say today, in a UFO. The Nomos were part fish, part man, and could live in both land and sea. They were also referred to as masters of the water, the monitors, and the teachers. Perhaps frogs, dolphins, whales were placed here by the nomos. Even more mysterious of the mermaids may originate from this premise. Premise. Throughout mythology, we see fish-like people, mermaids, mermen, such as Poseidon and Neptune. An expert from the ancient pagan modern Christianity symbolism stated, according to Egyptian mythology, where judges found uh, Cyrus, Nimrod, guilty of corrupting the religion of Adam and cut up his body, they threw parts into the Nile. It was said that a fish ate one of his chunks and become transformed. Later, Isis, Samarius, was fishing along the riverbank when she fished up the half man, half fish. The sea creature was Dagon, the reincarnated Nimrod, and Dagon is represented of representation of Nimrod of ancient Babylon resurrecting out of the ocean depths as half man half fish why do we eat fish on Friday 
Why do we see fish fries on Friday? Do you ever wonder why practicing Catholics abstain from eating fish all days except Friday? It's not because of the phonics of Friday. The original Friday comes from Freya's day, as in, um, you know, Thor, Thor's mother, Freya. Thor is Thursday. Um, it is the Teut Teutonic goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, prophetic procreation, and is identified with the Norse god Freya. The following is provided by the history of origin of fish symbol. In Greece, the Greek word delphos means both fish and womb. The word is derived from the location of the ancient oracle at Delphi, who worshipped the original fish goddess Themis. The later fish goddess Aphrodite Selika was worshipped by her followers on her sacred day, Friday. They ate fish, engaging in orgies. From her name comes the English word saculus, which means lustful or obscene. Also comes from her name comes the name out of fourth month April. In later centuries, the Christian Church absorbed this tradition by requiring the faithful to eat fish on Friday, a tradition that was only recently abandoned. So April is not named after... There you go. According to the Catholic Encyclopedia, an international work of reference on the Constitution, Doctrine, Discipline, History of the Catholic Church, as to a ritual of his worship, we know only of ancient time writers that, for religious reasons, most of the Syrian peoples abstain from eating fish, a practice that one is naturally inclined to connect with the worship of the fish god. More fish food for thought. In Revelation chapter of the Bible, it states that the beast shall rise out of the sea. I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw the beast rise up at the sea, having seen seven heads and ten horns. Upon his ten horns, ten crowns, and upon his head, the name of blasphemy. Revelations 13.1 Perhaps this is responsible for the term Holy See, Holy See, as in uh, that religion, uh, Scientology, Holy See. Certainly no coincidence that the entire planet abides by the Maritime Admiralty Law, which is the law of the sea, Holy See. As for the Pope's mitre, it's a fish hat and its origins are tied to mythology, ufology, paganism, and sun worship. So, if you're still with me, I want to say a huge thank you, and just, yeah, hit that like button and subscribe. Raise your vibrations. Thanks for watching. Bye now.